Okay, hey guys, hi. Uh, so, I finished Death Gambit today, and I was in the Discord for Death Gambit, and one of the devs uh, basically said they were going to address some things, and apparently they were saying that they found some of the Dragon Knights, or not they, but uh, people were finding some of the Dragon Knights pretty tough. So, they asked for a tutorial, and I decided, you know what, I'll just make one. So... I, I practiced this a few times and I recorded a video and this is what you're seeing now. Uh, the video of my practice, basically. Uh, I'm just rewinding so that... No, actually, we'll let it keep going. Um, but what I did is I restarted the game on a new file. I rolled Acolyte um, and I stayed level one. I'll, sh I'll show you my stats at the end of the video. I stayed level one and... Uh, I didn't upgrade my weapon at all, and I practiced this fight a bunch. And basically what I found is, at level 1, with your base level weapon, you can't actually do enough DPS to kill these Dragon Knights, because one of their one of their abilities is they have a heal, like you're seeing it right now, this heal. At level 1, without augmenting, um, without any extra damage, you can't actually stagger them out of that, so they'll heal. So what I did is... Um, I took away all my feathers. I'll show you right here. I got zero feathers for zero healing. Right there. Activate windows. Um, <laughs> I took away my feathers and... Uh, I put all of that into damage. So I have 140% damage and zero healing, um, right now on this character. And so from there, I found a way to to fight the Dragon Knight and to do it perfectly without getting hit um, every time. Um, now I will say that this fight is uh, it's 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 a diff like this is a difficult en enemy. You know, there's no real cheese method. There's no easy method, uh, at least not that I've found. I'm sure you know someone will find one sometime, but uh, until then. If you want to beat this guy, you're going to have to practice them. You know, it's, it's, uh, it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of learning. Um, that being said, what I'll do here is I'll rewind the fight and I'll go through his moves and I'll show you how I fight the dragon, uh, the dragon knight, um, and take no damage. Okay. Let's see where he's at. She'll see me going down here. Not yet. Clearing the enemies because I don't want them to interfere. Uh, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to try and keep just a, about a, a half a screen's length of distance between me and the Dragon Knight. I don't want him to be too far, but I don't want him to be too close either. Um, you'll notice I only hit him once. That's because that's that's all it's safe to, to punish. You can't hit him twice, otherwise you won't have enough stamina. You'll be open. So this attack right here... He does a stab, and then I think six up and down swipes, and then he'll follow with a thrust. And you want to keep him spaced just perfectly. This is a three-hit combo. Again, just spacing. You don't really want to block him. He'll he'll break your block pretty easily. Um, the only time you want to block him is when he's going to do his dash attack with the lightning, because it's not really reliable to consistently... Uh, dodge through that. Well, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so you'll see here the, the attack I was talking about. Uh, a stab, six up and down swipes, and then another stab. And if you keep them spaced, you can punish him. Right there, you're going to block uh, his initial rush, and then you're going to follow him. And usually after that, he'll either do... He'll usually do a jump attack and then a stab attack. This right here is his second phase. So this phase has three attacks total. It has that underhand swipe attack. It has that lightning attack where he calls down lightning. And uh, I think right here he's going to show us his overhead slam. There we go. And an overhead slam. That's all you really got to worry about. Just single attacks. So they're very easy to dodge once you get the hang of them. And the wonderful thing about the second phase is he doesn't... He doesn't heal, you know? So you don't have to be on top of him all the time. You can take your time and... Uh, you know, relax and just dodge the attacks. It's fine. There's no rush in this phase. Um, and man, it's so much, <laughs> so much uh, lower maintenance than the first phase. 
So yeah, what I do here is I just, you know, slowly chip them down, make sure, make sure I don't take any hits, you know. I've recorded this video so many times and I keep, you know, getting hit, but this is the first time I've done it. Uh, damageless. Okay, so there, he's dead. Pretty easy. I'm gonna go back and show you... Oh, right here. Level 1. No upgrades on the scythe. I'm just showing you that in the video. Uh, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you his attacks again. Just so you get a little bit more coverage of his first phase, which is generally the difficult part. Right off the bat, he's gonna start off with, I believe, a a stab which I'm gonna block and then I'm gonna walk towards him I'm not gonna dodge I'm gonna walk and then I'm gonna dodge once he attacks he's gonna attack with a jump attack and then a stab again he does it again jump stab okay no problem jump stab that will always be a two-hit combo and it's punishable if you have enough stamina there's the six hit right there except he like kind of goes a little bit too far off the screen that's my fault and he cancels the the stab hit at the end. The three hit combo again. It's all just about spacing. The jump and then the stab. Yeah. And then another three hit combo. And that's really all you got to worry about with Dragon Knight. Um, here, what I'll do is I'm fast, if I'm fast enough, I'll hit him twice with my just regular attack. And then I'll use my, uh, my Y or it's my triangle on my PS4 controller uh, to get enough damage to stagger him out of the heal. That's very important, otherwise he'll heal to full. Again, there, if you see the safing, uh, the spacing, sorry. I blocked that here, and then he ran to heal under the toxic guys, so I just, you know, I was a little bit cautious here. Generally, you don't want to fight him over there, but that's where he ended up. And then second phase. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, you know? This fight is... Or I guess this enemy, it's not even a boss fight, it's just an enemy. Uh, you know, mostly just about spacing. About keeping him where he's a safe distance from you. Um, and where he's not off the screen, so he can't just, you know, run away and do things that you can't see. Uh, other than that, you know, it was pretty foolproof. So this is, uh, I guess, soul level 1. I don't know what the levels are called in Death Gambit, but level 1. Uh, no damage on these golden dragon knight thingies. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I think I'll probably be streaming a lot of Death Gambit. So, you know, if you enjoyed this, there's more to come. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, devs, for making such a great game. Okay. Here, I'll show you this. Or actually, we'll let it play to the end right here. One more time. <laughs> there you go. There's my victory dance right there. <laughs> yeah. Level one. Uh oh, that's by the way, that's the that's the scythe you get for pre-ordering it. Yeah, that's not, you know, you just get that at the start of the game. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.